What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Jody Smoke back again, the mad scientist with more division content that's cut from a different cloth. Please like and subscribe, check out my channel and all my other Division 2 build content. I just want to start off the video by saying a massive thank you to all who have supported the channel. In just short of two weeks we have almost 100 subscribers. I didn't think it was possible in such a time frame. The community support and feedback that I've received has been phenomenal and I just want to thank everyone out there for supporting the channel. What we have today of course is a PVE build that once mastered will be one of the most effective damage dealing builds you can have in your arsenal. It will require a bit of vigilance and I don't just mean the talent, but with some tactical play this build will help you smash through the game's harder content in no time. It's raid ready, best suited in a small group of 2 or 3 but this build can destroy open world content if you can learn to utilise your cover effectively. That's it for the introduction, please like and subscribe and I do hope you enjoy the video, let's get straight on with this build. For the build we are using the gunner specialisation, you're getting 10% armour on kill, every third reload is 50% faster, useful for the LMG users, and for this LMG in particular. The armour repair only gives you 30% bonus armour, there is better armour kits out there, however you do get 10% extra ammo, plus the nifty riot grenades, the 5% increased rate of fire on kill for 5 seconds, and the weapon handling which I think stacks nice with the eagle bearer and the LMG. Got Vindictive with a shotgun and the large pouch which is 50 mag making this 150 round mag and allowing us to proc strained more often. We're using the Eagle Bearer because it's got good stability and good weapon handling and the tenacity buff does help with this build if you can get headshots in PvE but I mean you could switch up for an infantry LMG5 to get that headshot damage multiplier and maybe run something else or you could use Rifleman with the classic M1A to get that extra damage. Rifleman's the best because you only have to hit a headshot and then every 5 seconds refresh it and you can get up to 50% damage continuously. With a mask we're using a Providence mask and also a 3 piece Providence uh, set. But you could use a Coyote mask as well if you wanted to in team based play or use the Hollow Man of course if you did want to boost your Eagle Bearer's headshot damage to around 1.1 million. We're using the Perfect Glass Cannon here. Uh, you're getting 60% amplified damage which is why I was paying it off with the Eagle Bearer but you can use anything you want for the second gun. We do have a group up piece in here to boost our critical hit damage uh, and this is a nice piece here. It has got critical hit and critical hit chance and damage because we are trying to boost it maximum. We are using the best in class Fox's prayers simply for the damage out of cover and of course the Petrov gloves which does complement the LMG damage as well but it does have the damage to armor. And without a doubt, Vigilance is most effective for this build as Versatile only gives you 10% to enemies worth 15 to 25 meters and you can't hit as hard. For the skills, we are using the decoy in the Reviver Hive just to try and get away. If it does get a bit close, you can drop a decoy and get away in time. As you can see with the build, we've got 52.2% chance, 183.5% damage, and 84.7% headshot. The numbers do slightly fluctuate depending on what gun that we're shooting at, but the two main primary guns that we're using do pretty much have identical stats. But that's it for the build. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out, take care, stay safe, and enjoy Division.